Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Terraria video. And there's there's a there's a solar eclipse in my wonderful world. Um, I, ju I just finished the uh, the last episode, and I was trying to tunnel out the the place by the uh, the Plantera bulb, and then it said that there's a, a solar eclipse happening. And this is what I wanted. This this is what I needed. So this is good. So this is basically an eclipse. So it's daytime now, but it's like it's nighttime, and there's really scary music going on as well. Okay, okay, I was not prepared for this. I really was not ready for this. And apparently, there's some really tough enemies in this. I think I need to get some potions. Right, let me go and oh whoa, these guys are tough. Even using the uh, the mega shark, I can see uh, how strong uh, they are going to to be. I was really uh, not prepared for this. Right, let's go and uh, let's go and get some of these uh, these iron skin potions. And uh, I kind of want to just dump some of this uh, this other stuff I've got on me uh, and just try and clear my inventory because uh, I want to pick up all the stuff they drop. Because I think there there's going to be some really good stuff dropped. Uh, so let's go and try and empty out my pockets uh, a little bit uh, just so I can try and pick up some more of the uh, the stuff. And look, you can see in the the background. Can you? see that? Can you see the, uh, the sun? I don't know. Oh, no, Swamp Thingy, stay away from fantasy. Stay away from fantasy. Right, let's get away from the, the house, and, uh, hopefully they're going to follow me a bit. To the battle arena! I should go to the, uh, the battle arena, then if they follow me there... That's going to be the, the best place to fight them uh, because all of the uh, the, the bonfires and stuff uh, is going to be uh, getting all of my, my health up. And oh, actually, I'm using the, uh, the mega shark, and uh, I've also got the, um... The gold bullet, uh, which means that everything's going to be dropping more gold uh, as well. Uh, so then that way, I should be able to, to get uh, a lot more money uh, than I would have uh, would have otherwise. So let's uh, let's kind of stay around here and uh, try and take them out. It seems to be like all like horror movie characters. Look, there's like vampires and swamp things and uh, and Frankenstein's and oh. <laughs> I guess I ran out of the uh, the gold bullets, and now I'm using the uh, the party bullets instead. <laughs> Let's have some fun with this. Let's have a, a party. And actually, this armor uh, should uh, be helping me out a, a whole bunch as well, uh, because it's uh, it's shooting them all as well at the uh, the same time as I try and uh, and take the them out. I think actually maybe using the uh, uh, the uh, the the mushroom spear will be good as well, because uh, it can really just knock them back a bunch. And the reason. Uh, I really wanted uh, to have the, the solar eclipse is because this is the only way, I believe, uh, for me uh, to try and get the, the broken hero sword. Okay, which I really need uh, to make uh, the uh, the best weapon in the the game, uh, which is the uh, the Terror Blade. And so I think I think I just I think it just drops from like some of the random enemies. I think like the uh, the Frankenstein and stuff. I think it's just randomly dropped uh, by them. So I want to, to take out uh, as many things uh, as I can in order to try and get the the broken hero sword. And so that's why I was trying to clear out my my inventory uh, just to to make sure I had uh, had room to to pick it up, uh, so I didn't accidentally leave it lying somewhere. So I kind of want to be. Uh, as gr as uh, aggressive as I can uh, trying to take all of these things out and actually they're not that difficult I think using the um uh, using this mushroom spear is the uh, the best way to, to take them out uh, because they kind of come at me in big groups and apart from the uh, the reapers uh, they're not very good at dodging <laughs> I think it's actually a quite a good way uh, to try and take out uh, a whole load of them I am getting a little bit hurt here so I tell you what if I go and, uh, and charge up here I can kind of oh I'm, I'm being chased by a vampire there I can run back and forth here and uh, that goes and uh, drops in some of the other uh, hearts and uh, that will get my uh, my health up a little bit uh, without me having to, to use uh, a health potion because remember, uh, as soon as you use uh, a health potion, uh, it basically uh, does like a countdown until you can uh, use it again. Uh, so I want to save that as, uh, as much as I can. And look at the mega shark going crazy. <laughs> and all of the uh, the party bullet confetti going absolutely everywhere. And actually, I've not been using my uh, my good old Nimbus clouds. I guess I should go and uh, spawn a couple of them in as well. And actually, let's try the, the light discs. <laughs> I love just switching between all of my many different weapons. I think whatever I can use... Uh, to try and stop them uh, from getting close to me. I think that's going to be the best thing to do. So using the uh, the light discs and the, the mushroom spears uh, stops them getting close to me. Because uh, they don't seem to be doing many ranged attacks. I think most of their attacks basically is running into me and uh, trying to, to hit me. And oh, there's a, a Frankenstein down here. And oh, look, they're all spreading down underneath here as well. And I probably shouldn't go to the uh, the hollow uh, because the, that means uh, that there's going to be like all of these googly spawning uh, as well. Uh, I don't think I've got much good loot from them. I don't know if I've got anything. Like, I can look through my pockets... Uh, properly uh, after the uh, the solar eclipse is over uh, but I didn't really see uh, me picking up uh, that much stuff, really. I mean, I got a vine and some other stuff, and I think most of that uh, is things that I that I had anyway. So it's really uh, the um, 
uh, the uh, hero's uh, broken hero sword is the main thing that I'm after. So I thought that the the, uh, the solar eclipse uh, could happen when you're in hard mode, uh, but maybe it only happens once you've defeated uh, all of the um, uh, all of the mechanical bosses. Because I haven't had one of these, and uh, to have one so quickly after I've defeated the the mechanical bosses, I'm hoping that these are going to be a little bit more frequent uh, now, even though they are <laughs> a little bit scary and a little bit deadly, and uh, they might come when they're unexpected. I think that would be good in order to me to, to have a chance uh, to get some better loot. So let me go and uh, try and clear out my uh, my inventory out uh, a little bit more. So let's go and uh, put some of these in. Uh, we should take out the, the googlies. And uh, let's try and make it a little bit more room, shall we? Uh, let's clear out some of this stuff that I don't really need. Uh, just so I have a, a little bit more room. Uh, so I can go and uh, try and take out the, the googlies. And it's good because the uh, <laughs> I got the, uh, the thing above my head is just still shooting them. Even when I'm not even playing. Like I'm still just taking stuff out. And I could like not even be looking at the the screen but i tell you what i am getting even if i don't get any other good loot from it i am getting a lot of money from this look at that i got 19 uh, sorry not 19 14 uh, gold already and oh what was this guy there's an eyes or what's that thing all right let's try and uh, let's try and back off that guy was pretty tough i don't know if that's kind of like a, a boss one uh, but one of them uh, was a uh, particularly uh, strong then and seemed uh, to be doing a lot more damage against me i don't know the best way uh, to try and fight more of them. I don't know if I should be like running around trying to, to hunt them down or waiting for, for them uh, to come to, to me. They seem to be coming uh, pretty thick and fast at the, the moment. Let's go for a little bit of a wonder. And oh look, the vampires turn to vampire bats. I mean, of course they do. I mean, that, that makes a lot of sense. It looks cool though. <laughs> you don't really uh, see like uh, like the normal enemies transforming like that too much before. And I don't think I've picked up too much stuff yet. Uh, but it's only uh, halfway through the, uh, the solar uh, eclipse already. Uh, so let's go into just try and uh, carry on. I should probably uh, have a uh, another iron skin potion now because uh, I think the uh, the first one had, uh, had run out. And then let's go for a little bit of a, a wonder. I don't want to stay uh, too near the uh, the house. And oh no, <laughs> poor swamp thing's falling in the, the hole. Yeah, I don't want to stay too near the, the house because uh, I don't want any of them to, to get into the uh, the house and uh, to take out any of my uh, any of my guests. So let's go uh, for a little bit of a, a wander around uh, this way and uh, keep heading in this direction. Uh, there doesn't seem to be particularly uh, any more googly spawning. And oh, I don't want to go around here because uh, that's just the uh, the mushroom biome. So I seem to just be getting the, uh, the normal mushroom enemy there. I think doing what I was doing then, I think uh, going back to the uh, the battle arena uh, might be the uh, the best way to, to do this. So hopefully I'm going to have a, a lot more things following me as I go and, uh, and head back there. And as I said, it's really that uh, broken hero sword uh, which I want, but I know it is super rare, which is annoying because I don't need one, I need three of them. So <laughs> not only is it super rare, uh, but I also need uh, to get three of them and I don't even have one of them yet. So uh, the chances of me getting one uh, during my first solar eclipse uh, would be pretty unlikely, but I might as well have my, my fingers crossed. I might as well uh, think positive. There's uh, there's no reason uh, not to. So let's go and uh, try and take out some of these guys. Uh, there's another vampire here. Uh, let's try and use the uh, the Excalibur and uh, try and take uh, them out. Uh, there's not many more Googlies around here. What I think might be a good thing to, to do is to kind of put the uh, the clouds, the, uh, the Nimbus clouds. Uh, so there's one uh, on this side here like this. And then if I do one on the, the other side uh, over here and uh, kind of like the, the same place and then that means uh, whenever they're kind of like entering this area, uh, they're going to be like non-stop uh, getting hurt from the uh, the clouds. Like you see them there? If I kind of just wait above me here, they're kind of just getting totally destroyed by the, the rain. It's still uh, super powerful, even though I made it quite uh, long ago. I think it is still uh, one of the uh, the most powerful things I have. So I can kind of just go now uh, back and forth between these uh, two areas. And to just try and uh, take them out, uh, but they're all going to be weakened uh, as they uh, as they come in uh, by all of the the rain. I am getting a little bit surrounded. Oh no, I got one! I got one! Did you see it? I got the broken hero sword. It came up on the screen. I picked it up. Yes. So that is one. So as I said, to make the terror blade, <laughs> I need three of them. But I can still make either the true knight's edge or the true Excalibur. And I'm not sure which one's best. Um, I, don't, I don't think there even is one that's best. I think they're just quite different. And uh, you can just kind of choose which one you uh, you want. Uh, so yeah, as soon as the uh, the solar eclipse is, uh, is over, I'm going to go and uh, pick uh, whether I want the uh, the true Knight's Edge or the uh, true Excalibur. That was really, really lucky with me. I'm not sure uh, what I took out in order to, to get it. But yep, it's definitely there. I checked. It is definitely in my pocket. I just saw it. <laughs> that is absolutely amazing. I'm so excited because I was there thinking 
thinking like, oh no, I'm not getting any solar eclipses. I don't know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to load up another world or something. But that is absolutely amazing. And you know what? The solar eclipse is still not yet over. It's still going on. Uh, so I have the chance of, uh, of possibly uh, getting uh, another one. And what was that? What's, what's this thing? Do you see it? Oh, it's shooting. What's this thing? Oh, there's an, oh, that's another eyesore thing. Those guys are tough. And they shoot like lasers at me? Those things are pretty lethal. I want to be careful for them. Maybe they're the things that dropped it. They seem to be uh, definitely rarer uh, than all of the uh, the uh, other googlies that are that are coming after me. Um, so yeah, let's go and try and just take out the uh, the rest of these. And uh, not only uh, could I try and get the uh, uh, get another one of the uh, the hero sword. I know I'm getting a bit greedy here after I got my first one. Uh, but yeah, I could also just get something else. I'm pretty sure uh, there's just other things uh, that get dropped uh, as well. And so if I'm lucky, I could try and get one of them as well. And you know what? This might be the easiest way just to take them all out. If I just stay here like this, like they're all just going to go underneath me and just get taken out. I don't. I think nothing apart from the Izors really do any ranged attacks against me. I can literally just stay here <laughs> and uh, take them all out. It's kind of the lazy way to do it. I guess if I go and use these and keep knocking them down as well, uh, that will uh, go and help out. Then every now and then I can go and drop down and get all of the, the goodies down there. Oh, actually, the, the Reapers. I think they might be able to get me. They can kind of go through walls and uh, they can fly as well. So they're, they're the only thing ruining my strategy. And uh, <laughs> actually, uh, uh, causing any kind of a, a threat to me. And oh, that guy's pretty tough. What's this? Is this an, oh, there's another Izor down there. That's why. All right, let's go and make sure we take them out because they uh, can try and shoot me. And how much money? I got 28 gold. I got 28 gold, and that's uh, almost all uh, just from uh, this uh, tonight. Well, I guess it's today. I keep thinking it's nighttime. This is actually daytime because it's uh, an eclipse, isn't it? So if you don't know, an eclipse is uh, is basically just when the uh, the moon uh, is covering the uh, the sun, uh, so you can't see it very well. You can see just kind of like the the outline of the the sun uh, with the moon over it, and it's something that happens in real life. But luckily, in a real eclipse, you don't normally get reapers and Frankenstein's and vampires attacking you, <laughs> which is which is. Very very, which is very good. I prefer uh, a real life uh, eclipse rather than a, a terraria one. All right, then let's go back up to my little perch here. And then let's go and uh, just let them all go and get taken out uh, by all of the, the clouds. I want to look really carefully uh, in case I do get a, another uh, hero sword, broken hero sword, uh, because I want to see what dropped it. I want to know what to, to kind of focus uh, against uh, so I know what to, to try and go after mainly. But I think the, the fact that I got one and uh, it was a relative, well, it was just, uh, just over halfway uh, through the solar eclipse uh, gives me confidence uh, that I should hopefully uh, be able uh, to, to to take out, uh, sorry, to, to get one uh, with every solar eclipse. Because I think it's like, um, I think it's something like, uh, I think it's like a 1 in 250 chance or something uh, that you get one, which doesn't sound very likely, but if you consider how many things I have taken out, that's not bad odds, actually. I've, I've probably taken out about 200 enemies so far, if not more. <laughs> has, has anyone been keeping count at all? Has, has anyone been keeping a tally of how many swamp things I've taken out? <laughs> oh, dear. It, it's been a lot. It's been a lot of googlies I've taken out. So I guess even though uh, it's quite rare, uh, just by the uh, the sheer amount of things I've been taken out, uh, I guess that there would be a, a good chance uh, for me to, to get uh, some of the, uh, the good loot. And I haven't looked through my pockets properly yet. There's uh, a chance uh, that I might have even got uh, something else and I've just not really noticed yet but anyway uh, let's go and spawn in a uh, another one of these clouds and if I kind of just keep them all in like one area uh, then the the water uh, is going to be kind of continually damaging them because like the Nimbus cloud is good if everything's stuck in one place but if they kind of just walk through it it doesn't really do that much damage at all. It's good against, like, massive enemies and, like, slow-moving enemies. Or, I guess, like, big groups uh, when they're, they're not moving very much. I guess that's why it was good against the uh, the Destructor, uh, but wasn't very good against the uh, the Twins. Uh, just because the Twins kind of moved quite quickly and weren't really that big uh, compared to the uh, the Destructor. But, uh, as you can see, uh, the, uh, the Solar Eclipse uh, is starting to, to go down now. So, a lot of these events end once you've like killed a certain amount of the the googlies but i believe this one uh, because it's uh, an eclipse is just going to kind of like happen uh, all night anyway so this is like my this is my last chance i guess this is my last chance uh, to to get lucky and uh, try and uh, get something uh, else good so i guess i want to go uh, all out and uh, just try and take uh, everything that's going after me i think the uh, the best way to do this uh, is to to stay in one place and kind of let them uh, them come to me and oh no there's another eyesore there's another eyesore and it's doing quite a lot of damage again 
against me. Let's uh, be careful. Let's be a little bit more safe here. Uh, let's go back to my uh, to my happy place up here <laughs> and try and lure it uh, out here uh, under underneath the uh, the water. I don't think that the uh, the laser. And can shoot through the, the walls. Uh, so I should be relatively safe there. And there we go. I think uh, I have taken it out now. But it is uh, going to become night time uh, any second now. So sorry. It's going to be a, a very dark video today. Because <laughs> the day was dark. And then it's going to be night. And then the night's going to be dark. And oh. I think it's over. I think that's it. Look. The music's changed. And it went ever so slightly brighter. Uh, but don't be fooled. It's not becoming daytime. It's actually uh, just about to, to become nighttime. And look. There we go. I just saw a, a normal zombie of Sud spawned in. And uh, there. There's uh, another one there. Uh, so I think... Uh, I think we've done it now. I think that was the uh, the solar eclipse completed. <laughs> that was um that was a little bit unexpected. So as I said, I was just tunneling. I was just digging out uh, the area. Uh, like I wasn't even planning to record anymore today. I was kind of done recording, but then it it started happening. So I pressed record and had to jump uh, straight back in. But here we go. This is what it was all about. The broken hero sword. So it can't do anything. It's like, well, it can, but it can't be like, it's not a weapon. I can't attack with it. It's broken, but I can use it to craft a different weapon. So the choice is, though, do I make a true Excalibur or a true Knight's Edge? Hmm, I think the chances are either one I choose, it's going to be the strongest weapon I have. So it's going to be quite a, a big decision. Like eventually I want to make both of them. So it doesn't matter too much, but I think for like the immediate future, I want to make sure I pick the, the right one. So there's the, there's the normal Knight's Edge, which took a long time for me to make. I'm tempted to make the, uh, the Knight's Edge if they're similar, only because I spent so long making the Knight's Edge. It's kind of like... Like, I used it for so much, it would be kind of nice to use it again. Uh, but I really only just made the, the Excalibur. So I don't have the, the same personal connection to it. Uh, but I guess I should just go uh, with whatever is the uh, the better sword, really. Because <laughs> that's what really matters at the, the end of the, uh, the day. Uh, right then, where... Where is it? So, it doesn't seem to be in this section. Uh, these are short swords. Uh, maybe it's going to be at the uh, the top of the area because I can actually make it. Is it going to be in this section? Oh, there we go. There they are. Oh my god, they both look so cool. Either option is going to look awesome. So, the true Excalibur does 64 damage. It's really fast and has really good knockback. And then the Knight's Edge does 81 melee damage, which is a lot more, but it's not as fast. I also, I think it's probably not going to be as long, so it can't do as much range. Either one is pretty awesome. So this does 69, but it's really short. Hmm, I gotta make the decision. What do you reckon? I think I gotta go for the true Knight's Edge. I think it looks cooler. I think that looks awesome, and it does so much more damage, I think I have to go for it. Even though it's not as fast, I'm going to go and make a true Knight's Edge. So, there we go. I've done it. I can't take it back. <laughs> I have no option to make a true Excalibur anymore. So, let's go outside, and I'm kind of glad it's night time, to be honest, because uh, it means there's going to be some googlies about, uh, so I can go and try out my weapon. Actually, what uh, what do uh, what buff do I have? It's the, the true Knight's Edge, 81 uh, melee damage, so I could try and reforge it uh, to probably uh, make it even better. And it says it's fast. It wasn't as fast as the uh, the true Excalibur, but it does stay fast and uh, very strong knockback as well. This thing sounds absolutely awesome. And whoa, did you see that? I think it does like, you know, the beam sword. I think it shoots as you swing it as well. And uh, right, it did uh, pretty good work against the, the zombie, <laughs> but you would uh, assume that it would. Uh, let's go to the, uh, the hollow. Uh, and so then that way, uh, I can try and uh, battle some stronger enemies. Things like pixies and unicorns are actually pretty tough. Uh, so I can see how strong it is against them. And it's still pretty quick. It's still pretty speedy. And look at that. Every now and then, it just fires like a, a flying bit that comes out. And whoa! Those wraiths are normally really tough. And I destroyed it with just the, the flying bit. And look, it's even better than the, the beam sword. Because if I compare it to the, uh, the beam sword like uh, this... You can see the beam sword. It looks so pathetic now, doesn't it? <laughs> you can see it just fires out like a very thin projectile. But this one fires out like a, a massive one. This sword is absolutely amazing. So I think I am going to be using this sword for a very long time. So uh, <laughs> please get uh, used to, to seeing this sight. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm basically going to probably use this unless I find anything better until I can make the uh, the Terror Blade, uh, which won't be uh, until quite a while. Because uh, to make the Terror Blade, I need two more of the um 
of the uh, their broken hero sword. So I need to make the uh, the true Excalibur. Tell you what, when I make the the true Excalibur, I might use it for a little bit just to, to test it out. But for now, I am going to use this thing because look at this. It is destroying everything. I feel so unbelievably powerful right now. Let's take off the uh, the robot armor as well. So I've not really checked out this armor properly and all of its glory. Uh, so let's go and uh, take uh, all of this stuff off. And I'm getting owned right now. <laughs> and there we go. Do I not look like just like the most like heroic, like, powerful person ever. Maybe the butterfly ring, uh, wings ruin it a little bit, but <laughs> it still it still looks pretty awesome, especially with the uh, the sword as well. And actually, speaking of the, uh, the chlorophyte, uh, I think I might actually be able to... I've got 90. That's not bad. I might actually be able to, to make something... Uh, something new with it. So I could make uh, the uh, the Chloris fight sword uh, but I don't know. I don't know if it'll be any better than the, the true knight's edge. I'm assuming uh, not uh, but I might go and uh, I might as well make these into to bars anyway. Uh, so these are basically just the um, uh, the ones I got uh, when I went mining in the uh, the trip in the, the last episode. So I got 15. I don't think uh, that is going to, to be enough uh, to make anything useful. But the uh, I got one more in here. So that makes 16. So what would be nice is I think to make the uh, the mask. So at the moment I got the, the helmet. Which doesn't actually give me that much defense uh, compared to the, uh, the mask. Uh, so I might actually try and uh, make uh, a mask uh, instead. And uh, what's this? Oh, so this is the mask. So that does 25 defense. And this one only does 13. And I can make it. I can make it. I think I've got almost the uh, the right amount. I actually have a, a few spare as well. So there we go. Uh, let's go and make the uh, the mask. And uh, let's put this on. And uh, let's see how much defense I have now. I have 63 defense. That is absolutely amazing. So uh, in the next episode... I'm going to go and uh, try and finish off uh, the uh, the battle arena uh, for battling the uh, the Plantera. And I am then going to go straight into it. Because you know what? Right now, I am feeling powerful. <laughs> oh dear. So uh, that is the uh, the end of this episode here. Uh, this was, uh, I guess, a little bit of a, an extra surprise episode uh, for me, if for no one else. <laughs> oh dear. But that is the end of it now. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!